Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Pitman. And when last we left off, we only have three levels left to go, and it's time to finish level 98. I figured out what I was doing wrong. What I was doing wrong was in the middle part of trying to solve this level. This part is quite correct. We need to make sure that we have one line of these enemies so that we can defeat them all at once. But what I was doing wrong was that I wasn't moving Pit Boy at this point, getting rid of this enemy, and then getting rid of these two enemies, moving this here, and then switching back to Cat Girl. Doing that means that I can get rid of these enemies, and then move over here so that she has one long line of monsters to defeat, and she won't get trapped, and then we can move that boulder, get these two that I was having some problems with, and then finally, multiple kicks to the face as we complete this level. Level done! There are only two more levels to go in the entire game. And level 99 goes to Cat Boy. Let's see what you can do. I imagine it's going to be both of you. And indeed, it is both of you. What do we need to do here? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of you. And I think we need to start getting rid of these monsters and pushing this there. Okay, I think I've done something a little bit wrong here. We need to uh, reverse time a little bit. We need to go back because I think I have got rid of the wrong layer of monsters. Let's go back here and get rid of these monsters instead. If we get rid of these monsters like so, we can then push this out of the way like this, and then we can get to these monsters, push that out of the way, and then we can get to uh, that monster. And I think I'm going to put you here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move this all the way down to here. Doing that means that we can then get access to here, like so. We'll get rid of you, and then we'll do this, and then we're going to switch because we can then get you to get rid of these three monsters. And then we'll switch over to you, we'll push this uh, over to here, we'll then do this, and we want to be careful here because we don't want to get stuck, do we? Or we could just do that, that's not really going to hurt, is it? We then do this, and then that. Actually, no, we have done something wrong. We've done something wrong because we really wanted to push that boulder. Not defeating that uh, ghost there has proved to be a problem. Let us defeat that ghost, shall we? We'll do this, and that, and then we'll push this here, and then we'll get rid of you. Much better. Now we can do this, we can do that. And then we can switch over here so that we can push that rock there. That way that rock won't cause a problem, because we'll defeat these three monsters and we'll make our way to the very final level of the game. That level wasn't so bad, but what about level question mark question mark? It is an unknown. It is a mystery. There are no more levels for us to do. This is the final level of the game. Once we clear this one, the curse will be lifted. Let's go. Round question mark question mark and oh my, there are a lot of monsters here. The stage is practically full of monsters and we're probably going to have to uh, get rid of the monsters in various stages. It's going to take a while to get rid of them, but I think getting rid of that monster and moving back is quite important. We're going to need to make a line of these uh, boulders so that we can quite easily take care of the uh, final batch of monsters. We'll do that, and then this, and very slowly we will work our way this way. Not bad so far, but I think eventually we're going to want to uh, start moving Cat Boy. I don't know at what point, maybe now? Maybe now. Let's see what happens if we try. We'll just uh, hit you there, excellent, and then we'll kick all of you. That's not bad either. I think, however, we have a little bit of a problem in that we can't get those final monsters. So we'll do this, and that is a lot better. Let's get rid of you two, and then you, and then you, and then I think what we need to do is we need to make a passageway over for Cat Boy to use. Like, say, that? That might be sufficient. We're certainly making some headway. We'll get you, and then you, 
And if we just move forward, if the game has taught me anything, moving forward right now is going to be a huge problem. So we'll do that. That way we can quite safely get rid of all these monsters piecemeal, and I think we have finally got to the end of the game. Once this monster has been bested, we will have won. 100 levels will have been completed. And we can finally lift the curse on Catboy and Catgirl. Let's go! Level question mark question mark complete. There is an orb! Final round clear. Flashing power! Their ears of cat proportions disappear. Wow! Thanks to your wisdom and courage, the curse put to us was solved! Thank you! Now they are no longer cursed, and they can go on their picnic! That said, it is night, so I imagine all of their picnic supplies have either gone bad or have been stolen. It's alright, you can get a new picnic ready! Now it is day! It only took you one day to do all of that? That's quite an achievement! Now don't get cursed ever again! Hitman. The game is over. The final three levels weren't that hard, and all the people that made this game did a fantastic job at making a really difficult and really entertaining puzzle game. It was really fun, and though I did get stuck at times on some uh, puzzles that, when you look back at it, the solutions were quite easy for them, I still really enjoyed it. If I'd have given this game a chance when I was younger, I'd have got hours and hours worth of fun on this. And Zofter did a lot of work on this game. Thank you for your playing. No problem. Thank you for creating the game. The End. Presented by Ask. And now we can do whatever we like. We can go to any of the levels we please. Because it's just put us right back to the point before level question mark question mark was completed. But that is the end of the game. We have done everything that we possibly can. We have completed all of the levels, we have undone the curse, and most importantly, they can now go and do what they do when they're not kicking monsters in the face to solve puzzles. What is it that you two do as a profession? Oh, we kick monsters in the face. Uh, y you do? Yes, yes, that's what we do. We're professional monster kickers. No wonder that monster was rather angry that we accidentally stumbled onto where all the monsters live. We were going to kick them in the face. Oh. I wonder if that's why we were cursed. Yeah, that might be why you were cursed, Catboy. It's okay though, we kicked all of them in the face. It was good fun, and we got paid loads and loads of money for it. You got paid for doing that? Oh, of course we did. We're now filthy rich. We're going to go on the most expensive picnic we can ever think of. What are you going to have in that picnic? I've no idea, we're just going to go to where we buy food and go, hey, we'll have the most expensive stuff, we'll put it all in a big, big pie, and then we'll eat it. That doesn't sound very tasty. It's going to be delicious, because we'll be fantastically rich. It won't matter. Are you sure you're actually fantastically rich? Well, we're fantastically rich relative to everyone else, because they have no money. But if they have no money, then how do you spend your money? That's a good point. How do we spend all of our money? I've no idea. But I just enjoy kicking monsters in the face. Oh, cat boy and cat girl, never change. That was indeed the end of Pitman. A very enjoyable game, a very difficult game at points, but I feel that I've got that much better at solving puzzles by going through all 100 levels. I'm just surprised that the final three levels were not as difficult as some of the levels I encountered before. Maybe I have actually gotten better at this game. It's not likely, but hey, maybe I have. There's one more thing I'd like to show off, however, before I finish playing this game, and that is the edit function. It's the part of the game that I actually played a lot more than the levels themselves. In the edit function, you can make your own levels. There are a selection of rounds that you can uh, edit, and I'm going to edit round one here, and then you are given this large area where you can design your own puzzles. I think this is where the ultimate replayability of the game comes from. You'd have somebody else design puzzles, and then you could use the password feature to import the puzzles that they've made onto your game, and then you will try and solve them. I'll certainly try my best to make a puzzle that is 
is most certainly devious, although I think I'm probably just going to make an easy puzzle. It's most likely I'm going to make an easy puzzle. The game gives you everything that you need to make a puzzle of any level of complexity that you saw in the main game. You have empty nothingness, you have ladders, you have enemies that can't fly, enemies that can fly, you have boulders, you have scenery, destructible scenery, and a place where you can place the player. Which we're going to do. We'll just put a person here, there we go, and then we will start putting scenery down. I think we'll put some uh, scenery here, and we'll do this. We'll make a nice little area here where we're going to put some monsters. How are we going to put monsters there? By selecting a monster. There we go, we'll put that monster there. We'll have one monster, let's see, we'll have one monster here, and one monster here. What I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to try and make this a little bit sneaky. Oh yes, it's going to be a bit sneaky, because we're not going to be able to, uh, you're not going to be able to easily get into this area, at least that's the plan. What we're going to do is we're going to have a ladder. We'll put a ladder here, and it will just go straight up like that. And I think we'll keep using some ladders. Yes, we certainly will. Um, let's see, do we want a ladder there? We don't want a ladder over here. I definitely don't want a ladder over here. I'm just designing a level here, just uh, going with uh, what I think might be interesting, and it's probably not going to be that interesting. We want to have a ghost there, and I don't think we want any ladders here. We want a ladder there, though, most certainly. We want a ladder there, because if we don't have a ladder there, we can't have anyone drop down and actually finish the level. There we go, we'll do that. We'll have a few monsters up here, because why not have monsters there? Have a dancing monster here, and a dancing monster there. We could even have a dancing monster there, but we're not going to. We'll have one dancing there instead. We don't want any monsters dancing here, though. Any monsters dancing there would be kind of terrible. But we could have a small pile of monsters here. Let's see, we could uh, get some boulders ready. This music, by the way, you can only hear at this point in the game. You can only hear it in the edit screen. We'll have a monster there, and we'll have a... let's see... We'll have a boulder... no, no, not a boulder there. We can't have a boulder there, because that would render the level a little bit impossible. We don't want an impossible level, that's for sure. And what else do we want? We can't actually do anything with uh, that level right now, unless we put a ladder. A ladder would be a good idea. Maybe we should actually get rid of uh, that ladder there. We should get rid of that ladder there. That makes the level way too easy. Way too easy. We also probably want a few monsters here. A pile of maybe... yeah, I think that'll do. That will do nicely. We also want you there. And we also want, let's see, a rock there. That seems fine. And more ladders! I think more ladders are fine. This is what I did, I, I made levels, and I really enjoyed making levels. That said, they were a lot less complicated than this one, that's for sure. We could even have you have a uh, rock. That means you then can't go back to the top. I think that's probably a pretty good idea. And you'll kick that one over there. You're, you're sort of trying to think about how you make the level, and how you're going to complete it at the same time. Because I want people to be able to get into there, but I don't want people to be able to get back. Maybe I should have a way for uh, people to solve some things over here. That might seem quite interesting. I think it... yeah, let's have some uh, monsters that can be defeated over here, shall we? Yeah, I think we should have some monsters that we can defeat over here. Not many, just a couple. We'll just make a, a line of monsters. Not a line of monsters that connects up to there, though. We definitely want that to uh, not be somewhere where you can connect up to uh, fight monsters. Although having a ghost here would certainly be interesting. Having a ghost here would mean that you'd have to go over here to defeat certain monsters. Which would mean you'd have to do things in a very certain order, wouldn't you? You'd have to do things in a very particular order. We could have a monster here. Yeah, having a monster there seems like a good idea. 
And do we want these to be monsters? Actually, I don't want them to be monsters. I want them to be bits of ground. There we go. No idea why we have that ladder all the way down there, then. We should probably get rid of that. And then we do that. You could push those over there. Yeah, that seems pretty decent. We'll have some monsters here, though. There we go. And then you could do... Yeah, I think that's pretty reasonable. We could have loads of monsters here to kick, though. Why not, eh? And a big pile of monsters here. So many monsters. In fact, I'll just have dancing monsters over here as well. This is like overtime for Catboy. More monsters to kick in the face. So many monsters. Actually, we should probably get rid of some of these monsters. Just thinking that might render the puzzle a little bit too... No, 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 let's keep the monsters there. Because you don't want to get access to this area right away. There we go. I think I'm pretty much done. So, I want to press this here. We could output a password to uh, get this level. We could. But I'm going to play it right now. This level. Now we are Catgirl, and we're going to complete this level. And watch as I have made a level that I cannot actually complete. Let us start by kicking these monsters in the face using our ladder powers. And then we'll get these monsters here, like so. There we go. Then we'll get these monsters here. Not bad. These monsters are now gone. We want to leave those two monsters at the very bottom until last. We want to get this monster here, like that. And then we want to get this monster, and then this monster, like that. We want to get you and you. We want to... Hmm. Can I actually get over to uh, complete this puzzle? Possibly not, because once I do this and that, I've actually trapped myself. So that is going to be a problem. Fortunately, we can uh, just go straight back to editing this level. This part at the end is a problem. This part is definitely a problem. Also, the music appears to have, uh... The music appears to have got a little bit quieter there. I've no idea why, but it has. That's fine, though. Let's just see about, uh, solving this part at the very end. It's this bit that's a little bit tricky. It certainly is. What if we only have one monster, and we replace that with a piece of dirt? Then again, why do you even need two pieces of, uh, two rocks, then, if that's the case? That is a good question. Why do you need two rocks? What if I were to make a gap there? That seems a lot better. Make a gap there. We could make a gap that's too deep, actually. That seems like a, uh, a solution. And then we could put a ghost here. Ghost there might be a solution, but then again, we wouldn't be able to actually get access to uh, anything if we did that. No, we most certainly wouldn't, unless we were to put a... We could put a boulder over here, and then we could change this foe into a... Actually, that's not going to work, is it? No, that is not going to work. Can't put a uh, enemy there and have that rock there, because that just uh, won't work. I think just having two there might seem like a decent idea. We could put that there, and we could... Hmm. That sort of makes the puzzle a little bit unsolvable, doesn't it? It definitely makes it unsolvable. We don't want an unsolvable puzzle. Definitely not. But we do want that there. We definitely want that there, and then we want that there. Let's try the puzzle now, shall we? Let's try! Let's play again! This time, we'll succeed. At least I hope we will. Having all of these uh, monsters here just gives uh, Catgirl something to kick. I think that's just what we wanted there. Just a foe that we could kick. There we go. We'll just uh, kick all of you. Ha <laughs> ha! Then we'll kick you. And then we need to be very careful. Because of the fact that we can't get you. Hmm. And I may have put myself in a bad situation there. But if we were, for instance, to do... Hmm, having the ghost there actually makes this a little bit impossible. Makes it very impossible, in fact. We can't have the ghost there. This is sort of the thought process that I went through, just uh, trying to figure out what I wanted to do with a level. Let's try it now that we don't have that ghost there. Third time's the charm, eh? With the level that I designed myself. 
Oh dear. I'm not the best at designing puzzle levels, that's for sure. But I did certainly enjoy designing puzzle levels. I really enjoyed designing levels. I spent many an hour doing so, and nobody else actually played them, though. There we go, we'll do that, and then we will do this here, and then we'll do... Hmm... Did I want to do that? I don't think I did! I did not want to do that! No, I didn't. What we want to do instead is we want to just do that and then push this over here like that. Aha! Then get you, and finally get you too! I finally finished the level that I created! Not bad. Let's output a password. Output a password for this. If you want to make that level, all you need to do is put that long string of letters and numbers in. And so, that is the edit feature of the game, where you can make your own levels. And I think with that, we have seen all that we can see in Pitman. We have completed all 100 levels. I've shown off how to make your own levels. And now I think it's finally time for Catboy and Catgirl to get a much needed break from kicking monsters in the face so they can return to their daytime profession of kicking monsters in the face. What will come after Pitman? I do have an idea. I think it's time to finish off a trilogy that I've been holding off finishing for quite a while. Recently, I've been quite interested in finishing off series of games that I've only done two or three out of, and then there's one more left over. And I think it's time to start with this one. Will I find that game as fun as I did the others? There is only one way to find out, and that's to play. And to play that game, I have to stop playing this game. And so, I'm Kikoskia, and that was Let's Play Pitman, otherwise known as Cat Trap, a very enjoyable puzzle game that if I'd have given it a chance earlier in my life, I'd have been playing it a lot more than I had before. Very enjoyable. Glad I played it. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.